So when you first get a Mac, um, usually you have a whole bunch of programs sitting in your dock. Now these are all shortcuts, so you want to get rid of all the ones that you don't need, um, which is just going to add a lot of clutter because there's ways that you can access all of your programs very easily. So for example, um, QuickTime is not something that I want to show up in my dock at all times. And what, what I'm saying is that if you open up like an instance of QuickTime, um, and here it is, and then even if I quit, like it's always going to sit there. And if it's not something I need all the time, the way you want to get rid of it, there's a couple of ways. Um, but if you go to Options, if you right-click Options and say Remove from Dock, um, now if you use QuickTime um, and you quit it, like it won't stay in the dock. Um, when you look at this, you're like, well, then how do I get to QuickTime um, without it being in my dock? And so if you're on a Mac, the very easiest, the simplest way to do it is just hit the F4 keyboard uh, key, and then you'll see all of your programs. And so this is sort of why you don't need everything in your dock, is because everything is available through here. Um, looking at this, it seems like it would be slower to access everything, but as soon as you hit F4 and start typing, you can type in the name of the program that you're looking for. So if I wanted to open up QuickTime, I could just type in F4 and start typing in the letters, and it's already the first thing, and I hit Enter, and there it is. Um, so you do not need to have a bunch of stuff in your dock um, to access it. Again, if you hit F4, now if you want, you can start organizing all of the uh, icons in here, much like in a phone. So if I wanted to like hold on to this, I do a long press, I can drag it together with this, and then I can make a folder. Um, and so I can start organizing all of the different um, programs together, but I generally don't do that. Maybe on a phone that would make a lot of sense, but uh, on your computer, since you always have your keyboard, as soon as you type in F4, just start typing in the name of the, uh, the program that you're interested in. However, it's totally possible to arrange this much like you would um, the home screen on a phone. Um, so that's the first thing that I do when I install a new computer, is just like try and get this down to the absolute bare essentials. All right, so let's say for example there is something that I want to keep in my dock like uh, notes which is a handy little program. Um, if I close note it disappears from the dock which is what I want but now I'm saying no that's something that I always want to be able to access so I can just right click and say options keep in dock. Okay so now when I close it it's always available I can drag it around and move it to different places. Um, so that's probably the first thing that you should do um, once you get your computer up and running. Uh, one other option, if you're on your dock and you right click somewhere not on a particular icon, you can change some of your preferences. One thing I like to do is turn hiding on so that the dock only appears when you move your mouse over it. And for some people turning hiding off, that's, these are things that are up to you. You can turn on a magnification so it zooms in, all of these types of things you can start playing around with. Um, but the dock itself is going to become a critical part of your workflow, um, so make sure you customize it in the ways that make sense for you.